Hello, welcome to BL 101, New Testament Greek for Beginners. This is the lab for Lesson 3. In our last video, we went over the basic structure of the Greek verb, and in Lesson 3, Machen has us starting off by studying the present active indicative, conjugating out the first, second, and third person verbs in both the singular and plural. At the end of our lecture, the student was asked to complete the exercises in paragraph 23, Roman numeral 1. In this lab, we will now go through this exercise together. If you have not done the paragraph 23 exercises, please stop now and go through them on your own. It really is in your best interest to complete these exercises on your own before the lab in order to see if you are grasping the material. Now, on to the lab. Okay, now to go through this lab, I transferred Machen's exercise of paragraph 23. I've transferred it over to keymanweb.com. I've also included a little handy tool here for you to so that we can go over the the words that were in the exercise and we can take a look and compare it to the present active indicative conjugation here. Uh, the singular and plural chart, first person, second person, third person, and we have O, ace, A, amen, et, usi. Now, with room number one, you're asked to translate Greek to English. Line number one, you're given three Greek words. Blepes, genoskes, Lambanes. Blepes comes from I see. Blepo. But this is blepes. So this would not be a singular, first person singular. This would be a second person singular. So blepes would be thou seest. Okay? Second word is genoskes. Gnoskes comes from the Greek word gnosko, but it has the ace ending. So it would be I know, but it wouldn't be I know, it would be thou knowest. Okay. And finally, lambanes. Lambanes comes from lambano, I take or I receive, lambano. But that's ace ending, O, ace, A, so be second person singular once again, and you would have thou takest. Okay? Second line. Graph A, ek A, leg A. Graphe comes from the Greek word grapho. You have O ace A, so it's not a second person singular, it's a third person singular. Grapho is I write, but it's not I write, it's not thou writest, it is he writes. He writes. You could also say he is writing, that's correct also. He writes. Eke comes from echo, which is I have. O ace A, there's the epsilon yoda ending, third person singular. That would be he has. Okay. Third word, lege. Lege comes from lego, the Greek word lego. This is I say. O ace A, third person singular. So it would be not I say, but he says. How are you doing so far? Are your words, are your studies matching with what we're doing here? I hope it is. Let's take a look at number three. Uh, that was a mistake. Slide that back up. 
There we go. Lue. Lue comes from Luo. I loose or I destroy. So we're going to say I loose, but it's Lue. And that would be third person singular. Oase A. So not be I loose, but he looses. Okay. Didaske. Didaske comes from Didasko. I teach, but it is a third person singular. Epsilon Yoda. So it wouldn't be I teach, it he teaches. Third word, blepe. Blepe. It comes from the Greek word blepo. In the third person singular ending, blepe. So it would not be I see, but he sees. Okay? It could also be she sees, but it is third person singular. We're talking about someone. He sees. Okay? Take a look at number four. Lumbanomen. Lumbanomen. Well, the stem comes from lumbano, I take, and omen. Take a look at our chart, little tiny post note here that I have. O ace A Amen. Amen is a first person plural, so that would be we. It would not be Lumbano is I take. Lumbanomen would be we take. Okay? How about the next word? Ekamen. Ekamen. Well, the stem comes from echo, and the amen ending is a first person plural, so ek amen would be we have. Echo is I have, ek amen would be we have. Let's try the next one. Ginoskamen. Gnoskamen comes from the Greek word gnosko. Do you remember? Gnosko means I know. But that's not a first person singular. It's a first person plural. So instead of having I know, you should have we know. Okay? How are you doing so far? Are you picking up? Are you confused? If you're confused, that's okay. What I'd recommend doing is having you go back over and rewatch the lecture that we have done. See, New Testament Greek is constantly building on the material you know already. If you're having struggles with this, please don't be afraid to go back over and study the material that you have that in the previous material so you can strengthen yourself when you go through this. Number five. Blep ette. Let's see if we can move that up a little bit for you. Here we go. We have blep ette. Well that comes from blepo, I see. But blep ette, O Ace A. Look at our chart here. O Ace A, that's singular, plural, Amen Ette Usi. So the Ette is a second person plural. So with Blep Ette, it's not I see, but you see. Or we can also say ye see, or you see. Remember, we're going to use the archaic forms of thou and you, or ye, um, in New Testament Greek. This is so that we know, as the, your instructors, that your instructors know that you are talking about a singular versus a plural. Uh, that's important. 
Let's take a look at the second word, legeta. What word does that come from? Lego. Lego. Lego is I say. Legeta, being a second person plural, would not be I say, but you say or ye say. Let's say you say. Okay? Last word, grafeta. Grafeta comes from grafo. And grafo means I write, but the eta ending says it's a second person plural. So it would be not I write, but you write. Or you could also say um, you are writing. That would be also correct. Okay? Next line. Didaskusi. Didaskusi comes from didasko, meaning I teach. But the usi ending, our chart here, we go down, we should have memorized the chart. O ace a amen et usi. Usi is a third person plural. So didaskusi would be they teach or they are teaching. Okay? How about Lambanusi? Lambanusi comes from Lambano, meaning I take. Usi is a third person plural, so instead of I take, it is they take or they are taking. Last word of number six is luusi. Luusi. What word does that come from? Comes from the verb luo. I loose. But the usi ending means it's a third person plural. They loose. Or they are loosing. Okay? Good. Line number seven. Gnoskete. Gnoskete. Comes from Gnosko, correct? What is Gnosko translated? Gnosko is I know, but this is Gnoskete. That would be a second person plural, or not I know, but you know, or you are knowing. Okay. Gnosis. Gnos. Gnos. Ooh, that doesn't look right, does it? No, it's not. Ah! I messed up in my transcribing. Sorry about that, guys. Let's fix that. Should be Gnoskase. Let's grab a kappa here. Copy. Whoops. Thought I went through it pretty good, but I guess I didn't. Okay. So it's gnoskase. It comes from the Greek word gnosko. Gnosko is I know, but gnoskase is thou knowest. Or thou art knowing. Remember, we're using the archaic King James Elizabethan English to differentiate between the singulars and plurals of the second person verb. It's a good habit to get into if you're taking Greek. Gnoskamen. Gnoskamen. Well, once again, that comes from gnosko. I know. Amen ending is a first person plural, so it would not be I know, but we know. Okay? Let's take a look at number eight. Blepomen. Blepomen comes from blepo, 
I see. Blepomen is a first person plural. So not be I see, but we see. How about the next one? Didaskusi. Didaskusi. Comes from didasko. I teach. But didaskusi, the usi ending is a third person plural. That would be they teach. Next word. Legay. Legay. That comes from Lego. Lego is I say. And the A ending epsilon yoda is O ace A. That's a third person singular. So instead of saying I say, we would write he says. Okay. Last one, number nine. A case. A case comes from echo. I have. O ace a ace is a second person singular. So it would not be I have, but thou hast or thou art having. Blepusi. Blepusi comes from blepo. I see. Blepusi is a third person plural. So be not I see, but they see. And finally, lambanomen. Lambanomen. That comes from lambano, I take. Omen is a first person plural, so it would be I take, but we take. Okay. Count up all the ones you have correct. Figure out a percentage. Write that percentage on the top of your homework. That gives you a relatively good idea on how well you comprehend this material. If you're struggling with it, that's okay. There's nothing wrong with struggling. Uh, I'd recommend that you go back over the material. If you need help, give me a holler. You have my email address. I'll be glad to help you out. But there is Roman numeral one we've completed so far on this. Okay, let's take a look at something here that you were not asked to do in your exercises, but we're going to work on it together. We always hated the English to Greek part. But you know what, to be honest with you, as a teacher, I can look back and see how this stretches the student in the material. Let's see, switch, we're going to switch over to the uh, Greek font here. We're going to work here. And we're going to take a look at the first phrase, we are knowing. Well, we are knowing comes from I know, and that would be um, Gnosko, correct? Um, but it's we are knowing, so that omega is dropped out and we put in the gnoskamen. The ultimate is short, which means we go all the way back and accent the antepenult. So we are knowing is gnoskamen. Let's try the next word, we see. We see, shifted over is I see, and what's the Greek word for I see? It's blepo. Okay, but we drop off the omega and we add on the first person plural, which is amen. Once again, the ultimate is short. That means the accent goes on the antepenult, blep amen. Let's take a look at the next word. We are seeing. Hmm, a little tricky there. Well, it comes from I see or I am seeing. That would be blepo, but it's we are seeing, that's a first person plural, 
blepalmin with the accent going above the antiphenol blepalmin okay let's try the next one they are loosing well the stem would be the lu or luo okay but it's not the omega it's they are loosing that's third person plural it would be usi luusi with the accent acute going all the way back on the internal how about the next one they loose well it's the same as they are loosing comes with a luo but it's not first person singular it is a third person plural which is usi with the acute remember the rules of verb accenting it's fully recessive okay how about the third word he looses once again I loose is luo but he looses is a third person singular and looking at our chart it would be epsilon yoda or lu a with the acute falling on the penal okay Ooh, that was a mistake I forgot I'm in the Greek font it doesn't like that okay so um, how are you doing so far are you following along are you comprehending it comprehension is very important let's try number three he is loosing well I loose is luo but it's not I loose it's he is loosing so that's a third person singular so be Lue okay how about ye have well ye have is echo okay but it's not echo it is ye have and the ye means it's a second person plural so it'd be ek ette with the acute falling on the antiphonal. Want to try the next one? Thou knowest. Well, thou knowest comes from I know, and the Greek word for I know is gnosko, but it's not I know, it's thou knowest. Instead, it would be ace gnoskase and that means this gnosko would be gnoskase goes back to the um, penal okay and there's our word gnoskase how about number four there we go drop down here I am taking well that is a first person singular and it comes from Lombano and I am taking as a first person singular I take I am taking so it would be Lombano okay how about we know we know well the word I know is Gnosko but it's no Omega because it's not a first person singular it's a first person plural we know and it would be Gnoskamen with the acute going back to the antipanol okay let's try they say they say comes from I say and I say is Lego but it's not I say it's they say and they say is a third person plural so you have Legusi Legusi 
Okay. There. Finally, number five. He has. What's the first person singular of he has? It's I have. And the Greek word for I have is echo. But it's a third person singular. So it would be eke. With the acute going back to the penal. Eke. How about we are writing? Well, that comes with the first person singular format of we are right is I am writing or I write. And that gra that word would be grapho, but it's not I am writing, it's we are writing. That is a first person plural. That would be graphomen. The ultimate is short. The accent, which is an acute, goes all the way back to the antipanol. Last but not least, they see. It comes from I see, and the Greek word for I see is blepo, but it's not a first person singular. It is a third person plural, and that would be blepousi. Blepusi, and that would allow the accent to go all the way back to the antipanol. Okay, how'd you do? Did you follow along all right? I hope you did. If you have any questions, drop me a line. Be glad to help you out any way I possibly can. Um, if you need to, rewind the teacher. Uh, be glad. Uh, my goal is for you to comprehend this material up to this point. Once you do, then we can move on to the next lesson and the next lab. Thank you.